Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Oh, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Oh, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Let me get a little bit more of that. Uh, just enjoy something hot in the morning. It's good stuff. All right, this morning on the Revised Common Lectionary, we're starting off with Psalm 5, and then we have a reading in Zechariah, and then we're going to the Gospel of Matthew. So, let's get started. Psalm 5, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. So, here we go. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my groaning. Give attention to the sound of my cry. My King and my God, for to you do I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil may not dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. <clears throat> you hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and the deceitful man. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in the fear of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouth. Their inmost self is destruction. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Because of the abundance of their transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy, and spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover him with favor as with a shield. All right. Next, we're going to the Old Testament. The Old Testament lesson this morning is Zechariah chapter 10. And, uh, all right, here we go. Ask for rain from the Lord in the season of the spring rain, from the Lord who makes the storm clouds, and he will give, the, he will give them showers of rain to everyone, the vegetation in the field. For the household gods utter nonsense, and the diviners see lies. They tell false dreams and give empty consolation. Therefore, the people wander like sheep. They are afflicted for lack of a shepherd. <sighs> Excuse me. My anger is hot against the shepherds, and I will punish the leaders. For the Lord of hosts cares for his flock, the house of Judah, and will make them uh, like his majestic steed in battle. From him shall come the cornerstone, from him the tent peg, from him the battle bow, from him every ruler, all of them together. They shall be like mighty men in battle, trampling the foe in the mud of the streets. They shall fight because the Lord is with them, and they shall put to shame the riders on horses. I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph. I will bring them back because I have compassion on them, and they shall be as though I had not rejected them. For I am the Lord their God, and I will answer them. Then Ephraim shall become like a mighty warrior, and their hearts shall be glad as with wine. Their children shall see it and be glad. Their hearts shall rejoice in the Lord. I will whistle for them and gather them in, and I have redeemed them. And they shall be as many as they were before. Though I scattered them among the nations, yet in far countries they shall remember me. And with their green children they shall live and return. I will bring them home from the land of Egypt and gather them from Assyria. And I will bring them to the land of Gilead and to Lebanon till there is no room for them. He shall pass through the sea of troubles and strike down the waves of the sea and all the depths of the Nile shall be dried up. The pride of Assyria shall be laid low, and the scepter of Egypt shall depart. I will make them strong in the Lord, and they shall walk in his name, declares the Lord. All right. A little more tea here this morning. Um, 
All right, Matthew chapter 18, verses 6 through 9. And here we go. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world for temptations to sin, for it is necessary that temptations come. But woe to the one by whom the temptation comes. And if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than with two hands or two feet and to be thrown into eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than with two eyes and to be thrown into hell, into the hell of fire. And this is the word of the Lord. Next, we'll go to the Pray Now app, and we'll read the prayer of the day. Let us pray. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the service of angels and men in, one, in a wonderful order. Mercifully grant that as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may also help and defend us here on earth. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Um, there's a little paragraph here, and it's entitled, St. Michael and All Angels. And uh, I'd like to share this with you. The name of the archangel is uh, St. Michael means, who is like God. Michael is mentioned in the book of Daniel, as well as in Jude and Revelation. Daniel portrays Michael as the angelic helper of Israel who leads the battle against the forces of evil. In Revelation, Michael and his angels fight against, the, against and defeat Satan and the evil angels, driving them from heaven. Their victory is made possible by Christ's own victory over Satan and his death and resurrection. A victory announced by the voice in heaven. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. Michael is often associated with Gabriel and Raphael, the other chief angels or archangels who surround the throne of God. Tradition names Michael as the patron and protector of the church, especially as the protector of Christians at the hour of death. Interesting. All right, well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. It's... Uh, uh, what day? It's Wednesday. <laughs> right. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Y'all have an awesome day. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>